Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another Transformers video review. Today we have the Golden Disc Collection Autobot Jackpot and Autobot Sights from the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom line. And like I said, the Golden Disc Collection, this is part two of our Golden Disc coverage. As you can see back here, we've got part one in the background, so we will be looking at the size comparisons to... Uh, to jackpot and sights. Now, as you can see here, jackpot is a recolor of jazz, and I'm not sure if he originally was, although I think he was. And uh, sights is a recolor of uh, Taraxodon, and I think he was. They've they've used this mold a couple of times in the series, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get him out of his little cardboard prison here, and uh, yeah, we'll get right into the review. I'm really excited. This is the figure. The one that I was definitely going to get before I decided I wanted to get all four. So, yeah, I wanted him just because I really like the uh, Target Masters idea. And Jackpot is an original Target Master from, I believe, the Japanese uh, continuity that we don't, we never got to see originally in America, I don't think. And Sights is his original Target Master partner. And Sights was a bird. Here he's, uh, well, he looks like the pterodactyl type thing. But, I mean, you could easily say that's just a mechanical bird. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we'll be right back and I'll get this package open. So, yeah, stick with me. Oh, uh, before I go, before I go into my little break, uh, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, I figured it's best to tell you in the first couple minutes of the video. <laughs> Please subscribe. I am on the road to 1,000, and uh, I'm super excited. I'll uh, say this again at the end of the video. <laughs> uh, anyway, be right back. Okay, we are back. And uh, here is our guy out of his... Uh, out of his or her, I can't remember, packaging... Um, the one thing I noticed here is that the plastic feels a little bit thinner than I thought it was going to feel. Um, it even feels a little thinner than our friend Jazz over here, which I don't know if it's just me, but I just transformed Jazz and I just feeling this, this plastic feels more durable. I don't know if they're using a different plastic for the, uh, Studio Series line. Maybe that's why it feels more durable but this plastic just feels, it feels uh, thinner or more brittle. I don't know, there's just something about it feels different. <laughs> she does come with, or he, I can't remember, I should look it up, <laughs> with a uh, gun. Boom, a blue version of Jazz's gun. Let's uh, put them side by side here. Blue version of Jazz's gun with a uh, black, I think it's made out of black plastic, and then painted dark blue. And then we also have our sights here, who, just like the original pterodactyl, can either be an axe or a gun. And the, uh, the blast effects do go on the tip of the gun here, as well as the wings of the axe, which is really cool. So, sights can actually look like a, a gun, you know, that uses sights. So, yay. Um, let's see, can I attach the gun to the sights? It does not appear so. That would be cool if I could attach sights to the gun or the other way around. But it doesn't appear that that is an option. Um, this figure does come with a kind of a yellow-orange blast effect. I also have another one in this color and then a one in this blue color. They are the same, the same mold, just different colors, obviously. I just wanted to point that out. And then... Here is our other, um, I want to say Taraxodon, but I don't remember, but this is our other, and I will show him off in uh, his 
pterodactyl bird mode as well, so we'll just put that to the side for now. But yeah, she's got all the same articulation as Jazz. You can see all the different paint apps as well, which is really cool. Jazz's head doesn't want to stay up right now. <laughs> um, totally new head sculpt, though. You can see the mouth and then a really big visor that goes back quite a ways compared to Jazz's small visor. <laughs> Completely different head, much larger head, too which is interesting. Um, where did I put my phone? Okay, I'm going to try something and see if I can bring up a picture of uh, the original sites, the G1 version of sites, so that you can see the difference in the image. So, yeah, I'm going to do a... I'm not going to do a cut. I'm just going to pause here so it'll look like a cut. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so here's the original sights. Uh, not a Japanese exclusive figure, but an action master. And then here is sights weapon. You can see the bird there. And then the gun can actually go into the end of the bird. Tell me that I can do that. Tell me that I can do that to this gun. Where's the gun? Right here. The gun does not appear to have a connector of any kind. That would be so cool if you could connect this, and it would be just like a super long uh, sniper rifle. Oh, that would be so cool. And it wouldn't take much. You'd just need a little tiny hole to plug that into it, you know? And then this gun still has its capabilities, so you'd still have the thing. Oh. <sighs> They, Hasbro missed out on that. That would have been really easy to do that, too. I would do it at home, but I am not skilled with any of that kind of stuff, so I don't want to screw it up. <laughs> uh, I know I just paid regular price for this. I just paid the regular uh, MSRP for it, so I'm not worried about that. Maybe I'll get a second one or get a spare one of these and experiment. But I would really love a sights that could connect with the uh, with sights normal gun, other than her power master, or uh, yeah, power master. I think. Let's see what these were called. They are called. Um, let's see where is it. Uh, sights is. Oh wait, I'm just looking at sights. Autobot Decepticon Action Master Partner. Sites is constantly on the lookout for anything that might enable his partner Jackpot. Let's see what Jackpot's... Uh... Jackpot is... I know I shouldn't be doing this while I'm recording. <laughs> is an Autobot Action Master from the Generation 1 continuity. Uh, built his. Okay, so Jackpot is a male. And uh, he's only had two toys, the original Action Master toy and this new War for Tybertron. I love obscure fig characters, though, so I am so glad that I picked this up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> now that this video has gone on way longer than it should have, here's Sights next to Jazz. Here is our Jackpot in Sights next to Jazz. Here is Jackpot in Sights next to a Road Hauler. Uh, here is Jackpot and Sights next to eh, Rodimus Prime. Boom. Can't even see his head. <laughs> Rodimus Prime. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here is Jackpot and Sights next to Insecticon Kickback. Uh, oh, they're actually about the same height. I expected Kickback to be, for some reason, he looks taller and Sights looks small. But they are about the same height, the antenna on kickbatter. Kickback are just a little bit taller. So, yeah, anyway. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and transform Sights into his vehicle mode. And uh, we will be right back. Alrighty, here's a jackpot and Sights in their robot or vehicle alt modes. Um, since this isn't really a vehicle. <laughs> uh, unfortunately... And this is a little disappointing as well. You've got 
this peg right here that can hold the gun or one item such as sights in his gun mode but then it can't hold anything else and that's just a little disappointing to me because you can't plug the gun into here anywhere I don't think well is hold on is that big enough for no it's not okay so yeah there's not a secondary you know place to put to put the extra gun unfortunately so that means when they're in robot mode sights is just flying next to jackpot which i guess is fine it's not ideal in my book but it's fine i'm not upset you know you could still have sights perched up here if you really want to he'll sit up there fine but i think it would look a lot better if he could actually connect in some way onto this gun so unfortunately he cannot it would be really nice if he could slide in there somehow and just be a solid accessory. But I'll just have to deal with this. I still love that I have another Action Master, Target Master, Battle Master, whatever you want to call it, in Sights here. I thought Sights was originally a, a, uh, oh, a Target Master, but after looking at it on my phone I realized that he's not he was the accessory to the action master jackpot who did not have a vehicle mode the first time so that means jackpot did not in fact share a mold with jazz initially so but we do have sights and jazz jackpot I am glad that site or jackpot got his own uh you know vehicle mode and uh Sites has a mold mate as well in this guy and a couple other terror Daxtel that uh, comes with another figure and I think there might be one more repaint of this axe guy <laughs> but yeah that is my review I am really happy about this oh yeah let's see him next to uh, his uh, golden disc friend and then here's his other golden disc friend and then here's a couple of Amazon friends that also are from Amazon, so... <laughs> okay, that's enough. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching my review. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it. If you really like my videos and you're not already, please subscribe once again. I'd really appreciate it. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so I'm super excited about that. Anyway, um, yeah, that having been said, until next time, as usual... Be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands, and if you go out, please be safe. <gasps> Bye.